YouTube, what is going down, baby? It's your boy Moto. Uh, we are outside Motorcycle Mall in Belleville, New Jersey, because I got some exciting news to tell you guys. I am now officially sponsored by Motorcycle Mall. I will now be doing bike reviews for different models of bikes that will be coming out from now on. Today is actually going to be my first review for them, and today we got a 2023 Ducati Desert X. <laughs> I almost forgot the name of it. Ducati Desert X is going to be an awesome, awesome review. Uh, it's a different type of bike. It's more of an enduro bike, but this is exactly what I was trying to go for with the channel. I'm trying to do review on different bikes and get different aspects of motorcycles uh, to the channel, not just Smackdowns, not just track, just a different aspect of it. So let's go inside and let's go see what we got, man. Our way to the Ducati section, which we have right here. So this is a 2023 Ducati Desert X, correct? And this is a 950cc enduro category bike. <laughs> um, twin engine? Yeah. Oh, okay. L twin. L twin. A little bit more. Right. You got the two-tone paint with the graphics, the two-tone seat, very popular, and then you got the uh, staggered lace wheels, which is going to be very enduro uh, uh, focused. Friendly. So it's designed so that if a spoke fails on a trail, you're not puncturing your tube tire. Right. Right. So this will allow you to give you a lighter, more easier stance. Off-road takes more use. Awesome, man. And this is kind of like the little brother of the Multistrada. Yeah. So the Multistrada uh, for years made. That's more towards the touring category, where you can do um, a little bit more of a sport bike kind of feel. This is going to be a bit more uh, towards your um, your competitors to uh, Honda, Yamaha, uh, BMW, Triumph, things like that. Gotcha, uh, gotcha, KTM. gotcha. All right, it looks awesome, man. Looks like going to be a really, really fun bike to ride. It's good, good, uh, good for our great ride modes, uh, lots of power. Uh, just on the fly for compression and rebound. Uh, this will make you softer and harder for your seat. Gotcha. And also, if you're doing two up riding, you can compensate for that too. You get a little bit less. Second. Okay. Let's get this bad boy outside, shall we? So I noticed on the on the wheel here, it kind of pokes out a little bit from the tire. What's the reason for that? So this is kind of like an off-road kind of rally wheel. These are called staggered spokes and they cross out like so. And the reasoning for that is because when you get on the uh, off-road terrain and you, you hit bumps and tires um, uh, kind of impound on obstacles, these are designed to not fail. And if they do fail, it's designed to not puncture your wheel and tire. So if you're in a you know, dirt road or something like that, you don't want to be stuck in the middle of nowhere, this won't leave you stranded. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Enduro bike through in, through out. <laughs> For sure. All right, thanks, Mike. Let's get this bad boy in the road. All right. All right. 2023 Ducati Desert X. Uh, if you guys seen in my videos before, uh, I rode the BMW XR uh, 1000 in uh, Detroit, and that was a uh, that was a pretty fun bike to review, man. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I did. These uh, enduro bikes, man. I know for you all these sport guys, you guys you guys love to go fast, uh, and I mean we all do, but. Um, Jumping on these enduro bikes, man, they're a lot of fun and they're really, 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 really comfortable. Uh, this colorway is pretty dope, too. I like this. I like the multicolored seat. That looks pretty dope right there. Uh, so we have my boy Mike explain a little bit of the features on the bike uh, itself. But, you know, it's always best to discover some of these features as you get on the bike and actually ride it. So let's hop on top of, the, on, on top of this thing, man. Oh, boy. <sighs> this is going to be a test. This thing is tall. Woo! <laughs> it's like weird because I, f I flat foot almost any bike and getting on a, a bike that's actually challenging challenging cha oh i can't even speak challenging to get on um 
is uh, is funny. It's funny that the gas tank is all over here on the right hand side. But um, just getting on the bike itself without even turning it on, it feels pretty good. It feels pretty solid. Um, you know, Ducati similar to, to BMW. They don't play around with uh, materials and things like that. Everything feels good. Everything feels pretty much like premium on this on this bike. I like the little Italian flag right here too. That's pretty awesome. And one thing you're going to notice right away is this screen. We're so used to having these screens uh, vertically, uh, I'm sorry, horizontally, that we have a screen vertically now, which is uh, pretty crazy to see. I think KTM has started doing that as well, too, on their enduro bikes. So let's go ahead and turn this on and see what this screen looks like. Classic Ducati symbol. Desert X, that looks pretty dope. This screen is really, really nice. Even though it's a little bit smaller than maybe what you would want, uh, it still looks very, very, very clear. Got a nice gas gauge up here. Got your RPM gauge here. It's a neutral. Um, got your ABS, your traction control, wheelie control settings all here. Uh, I can't remember everything that was said, <laughs> but um, this bike is uh, it's pretty easy to read. Um, you got your motor selector right here. Looks like you got your cruise control over here, your ABS button, your hazard buttons over here, uh, left, right turn signals. Got your uh, start and stop over here, and we have the DRL um button here as well too because this bike comes with some nice drls oh i was wondering if this bike had a uh, heated grips and it actually does so that's pretty dope so let's uh get a cold start going shall we lift that up nice just as mike said it has that nice l twin sound to it it's not like a typical inline four you definitely feel that grunt and with any l twin motor you know it's gonna have some uh some good low-end torque Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh yeah. Does this thing have an exhaust? Oh yeah, I like the way this sounds. Can't really hear anything with the exhaust, with the stock exhaust. But it still looks good, man. Woo! Riding right sport bikes this whole time, man. You kind of... It's kind of, whoa, whoa, this thing's got some torque, baby. <laughs> Quick shifter feels stock, but that's to be expected. The bike is completely stock. Very, very smooth. Definitely have to get used to uh, how this bike handles with these uh, handlebars so, uh, so high up from sport bike riding. Uh, I'm, I'm addicted to the way it sounds, for sure. Quick shifter works pretty well, though. Man, big shout out to uh, Motorcycle Mall for um, giving me these bikes to review. This is going to be pretty awesome, man. I um, in frequent contact with the uh, with the GM, Rich Canelo. Good guy. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, so I'm in frequent contact with Rich Canelo. He's going to be giving me some uh, some bikes to review, man. This is going to be uh, this is going to be awesome, man. I can uh, give you guys some uh, some input and insight on the latest model motorcycles that are out there turn signals feels good oh yeah this thing has got some low end torque for sure for sure for an enduro bike you're not gonna really wish you had more power this this thing feels good no doubt about it and uh, as mike said oh this feels pretty nimble too Oh, it like glides almost. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is a completely different sport bike feel. Got another Enduro over there. Let's get up into this left lane. Handles these bumps like no, like nothing. If I was on my uh, ZX-10, I would be crying right now. You know, my feet are flat foot on the ground right now. Still a little challenging so if you're not very very tall uh you may have to have this bike lowered a little bit but as mike said you can adjust the suspension as well too uh oh who got my car over here <laughs> well, i can hear the exhaust popping a little bit oh man handling these bumps it handles these bumps like nothing it's almost weird to ride a bike that can handle bumps like this This gauge is nice. I like this a lot. When I first saw the uh, display and how it was like this uh, vertical setup, I, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it. But riding a bike and looking down at it, everything is easy to read. Everything is nice and bright. 
and I'm pretty sure I could change that backlit to white so it could be a little bit more visible during the daytime but the black looks just fine yeah this bike this bike has got some uh, some power in it for sure 950 cc L twin yeah brakes feel pretty good Brembo brake package feels nice and strong I feel so high up on this bike on this Desert X hey man for the dual bike this thing leans it, not too bad it's kind of fluid it kind of you know just listens to what you uh, tell it to do this thing rides really really smooth man I feel so comfortable too Granted, I haven't ridden a whole bunch of uh, Enduros, but even, you know, not being an, an Enduro expert, I can still appreciate the riding position on this. motor sounds really 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 nice really really nice I feel so comfortable right now I can ride this from here to Boston no problem now what I will say is that now that we're doing about 60 miles an hour 70 miles an hour uh, you do feel a lot of wind on you try to tuck down a little bit not too much difference so no matter what, you're going to feel a lot of wind and it may cause a little bit of fatigue, but it still feels really, really comfortable. Not at high speeds, you can still ride this bike comfortably for miles, for miles and miles and miles. Oh, that L-Twin is addicting! Oh, that sounds so nice! <laughs> that sounds so nice! You put an exhaust on this thing? Oh, man, you're going to love it riding feel it feels it feels excellent I haven't gotten to go in you know straight up city traffic because as you guys know with any Ducati those motors run really 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 hot but um so far right now you know it, it feels it feels really really good man this is definitely a bike that you would want to get um, if you want to hit some trails uh, but still you know be comfortable around town uh, you know wherever you live this is definitely a bike uh, that is capable of doing multiple things uh, which I definitely appreciate and the power of it I think it it may be un underestimated just looking at this bike from the outside you wouldn't think it's you know as, as uh, quick and peppy as it really is um, I haven't ridden a whole bunch of Ducatis I think the only Ducatis I've ever ridden were V4Rs um, so to ride uh, this Ducati um, this Enduro Ducati um, you know definitely makes you appreciate Ducati a little bit more stepping outside of the uh, sport bike realm so Thumbs up, Ducati. You guys did a great job with this. This bike feels really, really good. Definitely recommend this. Nice steering stabilizer right here. Give you guys off-camera look at it. It's a pretty dope bike, man. This black is pretty sleek. The headlights are pretty nice, too. I like those DRLs. I had to play with the settings a little bit more. But yeah, it has multiple settings. It's got Enduro. It's got, oops. It's got Enduro, it's got Wet, it's got Rally, it's got Touring. And uh, depending on what you select, it's going to adjust the traction control, ABS, wheelie control, all of that stuff. Now I have it in Enduro. Feels a little bit sluggish now. Put it in Rally. Oh, see the display changes too. That's awesome. Dang, Ducati. Okay. Even the Desert X has a really, really, really nice screen on it, man. This is awesome. I like the uh, the um, circular gauge, though. That looks really, really mean.
that is going to be my review on the 2023 Ducati Desert X. Definitely an awesome uh, enduro bike that you guys should definitely uh, consider getting if you're entering that type of uh, genre of motorcycles. Uh, big shout out to Motorcycle Mall here in Belleville, New Jersey for letting this out. Definitely going to be doing a lot more of these reviews. Won't be just sport bikes, won't be just enduros. It's going to be all different types of bikes. So uh, again, big shout out to uh, Ducati. I mean, sorry. Big shout out to Motorcycle Mall for uh, putting this together. And hopefully I can give you guys some more great content in the future with some more of the latest and greatest motorcycles, guys. So I will see you guys in the next episode, people. Ride safe and peace out.